Dylan Larkin has turned on the engines lately as he carries the Detroit Red Wings away from the lower spots in the league and into contention for the final wildcard spots in the East. Detroit are currently chasing the Washington Capitals for the last wildcard spot, only a few points behind and with three games in hand. The center, who is in his final year of his contract and negotiating a new deal with general manager Steve Eisenman, is a point per game player this season and has been the main offensive catalyst on the Red Wings, setting the tone with flashy plays, back checking hard like in this game against the Los Angeles Kings that turned into a game tying goal shortly after and using his speed to create goals. Detroit's reliance on the fourth pick in the 2014 NHL draft has been even clearer lately as he's currently on a hot streak that has seen him pick up 12 points in his last six games, six goals and six assists. I'm expecting their 26 year old captain to sign a deal soon with the Wings. There's been some struggles in getting the deal done with Larkin reportedly looking for $9 million per year, while Iserman is willing to go to $8 million. I would expect them to settle for a deal around $8.5, $8.75 million and 8 years. But unless someone is willing to budge, Iserman already has a proven track record of being willing to walk away if he doesn't like what he's seeing. But can he really walk away from the team's top line center? A good comparison might be Bo Horvat, who just made bank with the New York Islanders, as they have similar point totals, despite Horvat having played nearly 70 games more than Larkin. What do you think? Is Larkin worth the 9 million he's reportedly seeking? Or should Iserman be prepared to walk away? Leave a comment down below and I'll respond to you as fast as I can. Thanks for watching.